All right, Brett, what do you got going on? I am just uh, working on a little bit of my personal stuff here. Sweet, um, sweet salamanders. My, uh, yeah, getting my Rhino Razorback Oh, I love Predator. that front. Yeah. I, now, how is that done? What I built you? that all from plastic. Okay. And uh, GW bits. How did you do these little rivets? Um, Are I you have, just cutting something? Yeah, I have a really tiny plastic rod. Okay, I just and you cut it. Cut them a little tiny. Wow, that is excruciating. Glue them on individually. That is terrible. Why would you do that to yourself? But they look it fantastic. Looks so you're getting right. your salamanders cracking. Yeah. In fact, if we look over here in the uh, in the case, they're about eighty percent done. Yeah, that's great. Really? Mm-hmm. Because you only have like one tack squad in here. You need like four tack squads. Oh, stuff. Well, eighty percent being complete as far as painting. And Oh, okay, all right, whatever oh, you yeah, think. There's, there's he thinks he's 80% done with his <laughs> army. How no, there's quaint. only like 1,200 points in there. All right, great. So, well, you're not 80% no. done, pal. Three grand. The army isn't 80%. Three grand is what I expect. Job is. All right, well, they look fantastic. All right, Ren, justify hey, yourself. How's it going? Show so, us what uh, you're doing. So I'm working on a heresy era armor, Black Templar army. That's great. So we've got a um, little bit of everything. So we got some MK4 armor. He's using okay, that. What for... makes that different? It has kind of that wolf-like appearance. Oh yeah, it's got the, uh, the MK4 has the a it has a different head. Okay. Um, some people call it like the octopus head. Octopus but... head. That doesn't make any sense. I think it's, it's like it has eight like the, things on yeah. it, eight flanges or whatever. Yeah, okay, go the, ahead. The grooves on the front of the helmet. But then you got the older style backpacks. So right. MK4 backpacks. Okay. Um, and the other difference is the chest piece, which here's a model without the arms. So you can get a good idea what that looks like. Oh, that's neat. Okay, great. I like the uh, kind of more knee of a, pads too. Yeah, come more like a knife. Makes a little more style. sense. And th yeah, they are they are a tad more dynamic. Mm -hmm. They are. Guy okay, that yeah. that yeah, like that guy's running, right? Mm hmm So and, and we some, have uh, Black Templar specialty pads and weapons oh, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I'm using a lot of Black Templar guns. I'm actually gonna add some more great. icons to these guys. Just so not what, the what's this? Yet. This is Mark IV then? Um, that's that Mark II. Okay. It's a Mark II assault marine. And they come with the I'm pretty sure it's the MK2 jump pack style too. Okay, great. Yeah, it Let's comes in the same around. pack from Portugal. Okay. Wow. And you can see most of that model is different. I mean, nothing's really the same. You got the custom chain swords, you got the custom bolt pistols, the head, shoulder pad, everything's different on those ones. It's actually one of my favorite um, leg styles. Right. My uh, From the older sets, my favorite leg styles are the MK5 and the MK2. Which we actually that have is great, look at that. Here. Those are actually the exact heresy era ones. Okay, let's take a look. Here's how they are on the sprue. Mm -hmm. so they have like the knobbly pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's. those are actually my favorite legs. I like the uh, studs, I think it's a good, it's good aesthetic. Okay, that's great. Thanks a lot, Ren. That was uh, very informative. And a uh, customer. Okay, great. Oh, that's neat. All right, thanks. I'm fairly convinced now Mason doesn't actually work here. <laughs> He's just really always working on his own stuff. All right, let's take a look. Well, you want the bat rep, so take a look. I, I do. I do. We are going to have to postpone, though, because um, we are, what is it? They're doing a bat rep. Already, oh, okay. we're using this. Ca I only have this camera. For we can like do it tomorrow. That way, I can actually finish painting. Yeah, I'm all. I'm all for it. Actually. Yeah. All right. Oh, here, know, here's some that are done. I no, I haven't. Let's take a look. Yeah. Let's take a look. By the way, if anybody has Mordheim rule books, we're actually on the hunt for That'd a couple. Be awesome. So let me know, and I got plenty of stuff to trade for that, or I could possibly just pay you a nominal amount. Those Mordheim riders obviously aren't finished yet. They don't even have their horns on. I'll be doing those. Right. Yeah, Tam Criers too. If Tam Criers, great. All right, let us know. Because uh, the guys are really into Mordheim right now. Just by the way, uh, we did have kind of a bat rep meeting today because we've had a bit of a, uh, a stall in the bat reps. Uh, but um, we've got uh, Infinity and War Machine. Epic Squat 40K Titan Conversion. These are Rulik Warjacks from uh, Privateer Press. We're back. <laughs> I ran out of I ran out of SD card. Can't remember what you so anyway, there we go. 
You were saying something about some Paul Hollow, I think. Last oh, time. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Who <laughs> knows what I'm even talking about at any given moment. <laughs> All right, so there you go. So Mason's, Mason, Mason, Mason think he's hot stuff. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks a lot. All right, here's Elise. Hello. What's different about Elise today? She's not dressed in her workout clothes. <laughs> my gym clothes. <laughs> right. I'm actually going somewhere. So I'm tell us, tell us what you're working on. All right, I'm working on this. If you want to come around here, I do want to come around here. This bond out city. This is for dust warfare for Valhalla. Yeah, so it's an it has an older feel, World War II era. Right. Um, these all that's been done is the gray and the black where it's been burnt out. But I'm gonna go in and do some more detail on right. it. And you have these little uh, embellishment pieces. Oh yeah! Pieces so this will be really on. fun. So these are going to be painted all burnt out and right. destroyed. With this guy. There's another one. All right. Fantastic. Yeah, so that's been fun. That uh, that looks really nice. Have we shown off your inn? I don't think we have. Show your inn. We showed it in its very early stages, and it's still not done because right now this project's on hold. Right. But it, it turned out we didn't really need that for the June Valhalla. Yeah, so now you we're doing just, this for July. Yeah. So it's kind of on hold at the moment, but it will be finished eventually. It still needs a roof. But it has multiple stories and, oops, let's see if I can balance it. And they're all detachable so that you can play inside as well. So. All right, that's fantastic. Multi-story building. All right, thanks, Elise. Yeah. What's new? Oh, not a lot. Just printing shipping labels. All right, fantastic. All right, Karen. Karen's like, could you give me like a three second heads up? No, 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 I couldn't. <laughs> nope, I'm on. So what you working on? I'm working on a Tomb King. Oh, that guy's awesome. Yeah. He's like a necrotect or something. Yeah, I won't focus on it. A panoramic. So here's everybody. Cameron's out today. There's Gemma. Xana's gone home or something. Tasha. Yeah, it's good. Lots of good new stuff. Right, today we've got a Luminarch. And here it is. This is an incredibly detailed model. I have to completely hats off to Games Workshop for producing such an amazing quality figure. It is, you know, it's worth every penny, if you ask me, for all the amazing detail, the extra parts that you get. And it is just really, really, really super duper. Makes me happy. Look at that. All those little probably can't see them but there's like scrolls and stuff on the walls in there oh yeah can't wait shooting to get an empire studio army up for the uh july private valhalla reminds me there is such a thing you can get a private valhalla we put it on for you make terrain make your food and uh, you play war games at a mansion with uh, your friends uh, i'm pretty sure it's uh 12 to 14 slots somewhere in there and uh, so, and it's just a flat rate. So uh, let us know if you're interested. In All right, Ben, hello. if that is even your real name. Why, hello there. How did you get in here? Um, so, no. <laughs> guy, how many times I've heard that? All right, who let, who let the paparazzi in? <laughs> right? Security. You know what? And Ben's, Ben's got nothing, just all these base coat no, ogres. So Boring. Is, I'm going back to the same ogres that I did Your when first I ogres. started here. Yeah. This is an expansion on that, so right? So this is like my redemption at my first <laughs> No, there project. was there's no need for redemption. <laughs> there they were good. Well, I want to see good. I not quite as good as your later stuff. I want to compare them to my first project and see like kind of how how right? much better that I have become. So right. it's really good. All right, fantastic. I'm Thanks. All right, Zane, little Chicago. Yep, little taste of Chicago. Yep, so I'm building yeah, I'm a little ready. city that'll be like Chicago year it's for 5, infinity. <laughs> Chicago five thousand. Yeah, I, like I do believe these are by um, Micro Arts. Micro Arts Micro Studio. Yes. Yeah, and it's laser cut buildings. Yep. They're quite they're, ingenious. They're, they're modular, so you can actually. Um, I like, think ostensibly if they're for like infinity. You can go inside all these places, like oh, all yeah, this stuff great. pops open, like you can really use them. Right. So they're totally like 3D modular buildings, pretty neato. I love these berms. Those are really super. Can you line some of those up and show how they um, fit together? Yeah, I haven't really got super to these too much. Futurist. They're like anime style. Yeah, this is all. And that's tricky. So you're supposed to do them white, like with battle damage? Yeah, like if you look at the actual micro, uh, Micro Art Studios webpage, 
they have this like futuristic, like they were once like high tech, clean buildings. They have just right. sort of urban decayed. All right, fantastic. So, yeah, you can, and you can, it's modular. You can really build it. Are you doing you an infinity army to go along with this? Um, right now I'm focusing on getting my Malifaux all no, I, finished up. No, I, 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 I mean, no, I'm talking about the oh, client. the project. Because I, yeah, I see some client. infinity here. Yeah, no, and actually. So, the, is this one thing then? Yeah, it's four different factions. Okay, um, great. So it should be fun. It should be fun. All right, thanks a lot. Studio Skaven progressing nicely. Maybe 50 guys done here already. Uh, we already saw those yesterday. All right, Gemma. What are you working on? Oh, you're working on a salon. Okay, hold on. I, I, gotta, I gotta preface this before we look at it. So I've challenged Mason and his ogres, because he thinks he's hot stuff. He thinks his ogres are any good. Uh, and uh, so a client's let me use his Lizardman army, and I was like, you know what this Lizardman army could do, use? A Slon Mage Priest. So guess what? We're making one for this client. And uh, yeah, so I converted it up this morning. It's getting through all the same day, and uh, that's in anticipation of the battle report. And uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay. See, if I, see if I can get some good light. So t tell us a little bit about it. N narrate, and let's get into the light. Um, and then you can narrate uh, what that's all about. Okay, go ahead. So, just been working on this. It's mostly stone work with some brass right. in G. What, co what color is the stone? Um, Don't say gray. I mean the actual paint color. It, I used somber gray and right. then dark So that has a little blue gray, in it. Or right. dark sand. So kind of like a little bit of blue with something right. warm on top of it. Wow. Okay. And this is... <laughs> kind of broke off because it's work. so delicate so I just painted right. it and oh, then I'm, when I'm done really I'm gonna good. put it back on all right that's fantastic okay and uh, here's how we made this this is a piece from uh, Warhammer 40k cities of death and it looks like a little bit of uh, tiled stonework there and uh, we just took plastics from the lizardman range from the stegodon and whatnot and uh, you know, mounted them on a pole put a little decoration on the base there this is an out-of-print uh, Slon Mage Priest, and I just uh, I just gussied him up. Uh, this thing does will need to get repaired and straightened, though. Mm -hmm. So that that's a little bit of a conversion work there. And uh, I I think he's on his new digs and he's looking good. <laughs> okay, so what else? I'm sorry, I kind of talked over you. Um, also worked on this guy. Just fixed him up because he was had some parts added to him later. So. All right, what, what project did you just finish? Um, I finished a Signar project. Okay, great. Okay, good. Well, thank you. That'll make for an exciting battle report and an extra special treat for this Lizardman client. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Tasha, get go get the Ultramarines. Ultramarines. Let's roll. Better narrate them in a chipper and upbeat attitude. I'm telling you what. Oh, well, we're going to talk chipper. Let's have Chipper, really are you excited? Well, let's do both. Let's do both. Tasha does nothing but get better every single day that she's painting. So let's roll. Okay, got some ultramarines ready for digital. See, is that focusing? There it is. That's okay. Great. All right, they've got some uh, scroll work on them. Good variation on the guns. Anything else? Uh, I actually really like the base on this. I yeah, I've never this done is neat. snow before. Um, okay. I don't know that I've ever. It's very condensing. Didn't like it or did like it, but I think it looks good with the blue on there. What color paint did you use on the uh, rocks? Uh, stone gray. Okay, great. That's good. And how do you make the uh, make the snow? Uh, it's just a basin that we have. It's like glue and water, and you just. It was kind of crumbly when I put it on there, so I just put a little more water on it. Just kind of melted. Right. It looks like crustified nice. snow. All right. Yeah. Fantastic, miss. Thank you ever so much. Well, Zan is not here, but that's not going to stop me from looking at her dark Eldar vehicles. Uh, I do believe these are um, finished or in the home stretch. And they make me happy. They make me want to get my dark Eldar done. We do have a studio dark Eldar army just sitting here. Just sitting here, waiting to be finished. 
Yeah, that is that is great. I love these. I think this is called a not a Talos. Is it called a Reaver? Something like that. Maybe someone can tell me. Oh, and here's some uh, Dreadfleet. These are uh, in progress. All right, so that's it for the studio update. And uh, these guys are about to do a Free Blades bat rep. So what's going on? You're not doing it tonight then? Uh, you not get tonight. started tomorrow? No, we're just going to play a game tonight. We're just going to play a game. So right practice. Yes. So you know what you're yep. talking yep. about. Anyways, this yep. is Free Blades. Yep. This is a game we picked up at Adepticon, uh, mm -hmm. done by DGS Games, and uh, it's a lot of fun. All right. That's awesome. We already got our models all painted up here for you, Sean. So we're not that's ashamed fantastic. to show them off. No, that's good. You better have painted models. So you, you both painted your own figures. What's yep. your faction called? Mine is the Black Rose Bandits. Okay. And so, really, I'm only seeing like six or eight figs aside here. Yep. Yeah. That's so what it is. Basically, we're playing with the starter box. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm, I'm, I have the Heraldin Questers. They're That's kind right. of like knights. And we love this terrain. Somebody sent this terrain for review. This is the second time I've forgotten who it was sent by. <laughs> but hold tight, buddy. We're going to do a review. And in fact, I can tell you right now, I really like this terrain. It seems really playable. I to think now. it's. Yeah, because the guys kind of can stand on yes. it. Yes. You know, it seems durable, but not like brittle. Right. And the trees come out, so that's a nice feature for storage. Yeah, especially when you're transporting them from downstairs to up here. I thought I broke one, but. <laughs> yep, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's very convincing. Well I, I just wish we had a better base, yeah. so you know, that matched we it a little bit better. Board, well, that's, that's, that's my request from whoever makes these. And please put it in the. Somebody tell me in the comments, and then I will actually change the title if I remember, and so that guy will get some get some good press, well deserved good press. Yes. So, um, uh, what were my other notes? Yeah, you know we'd love we'd love a set of this done in like normal foliage. Mm. I green. think that would be that would, that would be that way better well. and fit a lot better with our base boards. But the autumn stuff's very striking. We should oh, make an autumn board. So, um, so just just a just a note here is mm -hmm. there, there are games that we support, mm -hmm. promote that we have already vetted yep. that we think are good investments for you to have an army commissioned. Like put money into these games; these games are the winners, in our estimation. But there's a lot of new things coming out. We talked about this at Adepticon, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah, we did. Um, one of the ones we did was Operation Squad. Um, right. There's this one. There's a bunch of games coming out. So we're just trying some out. Yep. And we're so having fun doing it. In a way, we're we are we're taking the original expense. Mm -hmm. Like we're gonna paint up these figs, play with them, and then that way you can see what it's all about. Yeah. Instead yep. of having to do it yourself. Exactly. exactly. So what so what's on the docket? What what are the games that we put um, up as maybes? As maybes? Uh, uh, right. The one I Operation Squad, this one, uh, Dust Warfare. Right. Um, and then uh, you know things like Infinity War Machine. Yeah, we're gonna do right. those. But as well. those those we've already. Yeah, we've already. Those games yeah, are yeah. great and well supported. Yes. By right. established companies. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're always looking for new games to play as well. Yeah. Right. And One there's thing. there's some we're forgetting. I know we were gonna we're do. Forgetting. Um, we had a list somewhere, but I will say this for those that have been paying attention: the the Operation Squad. Yes, in the fall it will become Bolt Action. Those rules are basically old and stale, but we wanted to kind of get in, kind of get in the ground. Okay. Ground rules, because Bolt Action is based off of Operation Squad, so everything should still kind of flow, and you should still kind of know what you're doing. If well, you'd you're be able to now. use the same figs. Exactly, yes. yeah, and they're all Bolt Action figs. Yeah. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Hey, hope uh, you've enjoyed and got your inspiration for the day.